Hello everyone and welcome to uh, sh- uh, myself being Sean and Chris. Hello, that's me. We are playing The Darkest Dungeon together. Um, we are within the Darkless Estate. We have, um, we've gone through one quest and we're ready for another. Oh, we're ready to embark. It's night time. It is. It, well, it just cha- It doesn't affect the game. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. So we, we will be joining Sean Old, Christmas, Phil Queer, and Ellenville. And so you say we'll die? We'll see. We'll see. We will. It's, um, so. Omega of madness and morbidity. Select a quest. Your work begins. Oh. Right. Um, quest to see their details and drag heroes into slots at the bottom to form your party. Okay. So I can pick. Well, I can only pick. You can only go to the ruins. You could go to the darkest dungeon. Don't. Why do they give you that option to go there? To punish you. Okay. To make the game sad. It is it's theor- already sad. theoretically possible, maybe? I don't think so. Uh, and so, yeah, the order of your party does matter. Okay. Um, uh, well, just because I know uh, you're... Let's go... Let's see how that configuration goes, actually. Great. Good. Okay, so that's the quest. Scout, test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. Okay, so keep your eyes open, but don't linger for too long. So your goal is to explore 80%, uh, 90% of the rooms. The minute you do that, the quest will finish and you can leave. And it may or may not tempt me to, to Stay, do yeah. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's go to the ruins. All right. Go into your provisions, because you need to buy equipment before you delve in. Great. So, provision, underneath the main section, uh, middle of the screen. Ah. So. Okay, different supplies, depending on what region we're going to, how long the quest is, and our own preferences. But always bring some food and torches. At least eight food and four torches. Well, you know what? I'm going to do exactly what the uh, gentleman says. Uh, Let's find some good old torches. Yep. Uh, Eight torches? Does it? Oh, cool! It does just do that. Yeah, it stacks. They stack in piles of uh, torches. Stack in pile. You just need to get to know stuff. Um, but they stack in different kind of things. So you actually already have a nether tox anti venom, yep, thanks anti-venom. to um, you have those two items thanks to the um, plague doctor, okay, and the cleric or whatever rate uh, thing. Medicinal herbs. Bandages stop bleeding. Yep. Anti venom okay. stops blight. Um, all of it's pretty. Pretty stock stand. Skeleton teas, you probably don't need them, and they're pretty pretty Boy, expensive. What I've got? Yep. Uh, laudanum to inure one's mind against the horrors. Huh. So that's, uh, if you get terrored, uh, you can use that. Oh, my God. Uh, and maybe there are some ways to get even more powerful, but they might have some costs. What is this? Is that the other thing that I don't mm, have? That moment? You do not have that just yet. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab a shovel. Great. Um, I'm going to... Ooh. I feel like I'm going to be tempted. So I will be grabbing myself a skeleton key. And I do need some... I'm going to grab a couple of bandages. Great. Uh, let's grab three. And... Some medicinal herbs. Okay. And you know what? Extra food. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm pretty solidly set. You're pretty ready to go? Yeah. I'm Let's go to for go. it. Embark! On. What, what do you mean? Take at least eight food. I did. Didn't no, I? you took four food. You took oh. eight, uh, eight torches. torches. Oh, how many torches should I have? I always go for more torches than less. Right. But, I mean, I play this game pretty conservatively. I don't really, um, you know, I like to have lots when I go in. Ha ha! Embark! There you go. Of oh, of my oh, of course, because this is my uh, mm-hmm. my estate. Your estate, the Darkless Estate. Yes, that's it. That's my last name. That is Sean Sean Old Darkless. Well, you don't play as one of the main people. You play as um, someone else. Oh, that so those I'm... those escort through. Ah, so yeah. I'm I'm worthless. Mm-hmm. I'm Darkless actually. Yeah. So if you hit uh, M or in the. Uh, it should be M, I think. Is it H? No. Uh, if you 
M or M for it, Mary. Is it M or maybe it's another button? Uh, but if you click, actually, if you just hover over, see where your inventory bottom is? Yeah, the thing above that. This one? No, no, that one. That is the map. Right. Okay. Okay. So each of the little that's dots, my inventory, that's the my dots between, are the corridors yep. or the hallways, uh, and the big boxes are the rooms. Got you. All right. So you are in a room. You need to leave this room by walking to the... You won't pick up any madness while in a room. Oh, I see. Yeah. Cool. And there we go. Let us begin. Wait, let's collect ourselves. Because if I go backwards, then things happen. Yeah, do not... So even just traversing the space will cause madness to occur. Why it is a nerve-wracking place. Why are they so pathetic? I mean... Also, do mm -hmm. you like that the three of us are the same height and feels slightly shorter? Yeah, I do like that. Is that accurate? No, Ellen's tiny. Ellen Ellen's should like be the there. smallest. But Phil's character is the one he uses on Twitter. Hey, go to... Oh, you missed an item. I'm sorry. Well, that was it getting darker. Oh. That's what happened just then. Uh, you need to walk further back because you walked right past an item. God damn it. This? Yep. You salvage the unburned torch. Yours for the take. And, ooh, and another gem. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I now... I light my torch. So if you hover over the torch in the center, uh, you right-click it. But uh, you can also just click on that. Um, there ah, you go. Gotcha. So it gives you plus... Promise of safety. Plus dodge scouting and monster surprise. Yes, you have a chance of surprising monsters when the lights are lit. Uh, Great. And if they are not lit, they will probably fuck you up. Awesome. Yes. So don't go into a room with the torches unlit. Okay. Is my suggestion. Well, this is a room. Quiet, Phil. Or Ellen, whoever that was. Ellenville. I think it was me, actually. Oh. Christmas. Okay, let's do some funky damage. Okay, Ellenville, let's see what you've got. You can judge people, uh, which heals them, apparently. Heals you. Uh, heals heals her. Ah, right. You also have Divine Grace, which heals... Uh, green Lantern symbol. One person. Yep. And... So you're the healer of the party. And Divine Comfort, which heals the whole party. So she literally heals everyone. That's right. She's a healer. Okay. Um, and Judgment is, however, an attack. It is. It does very little damage, but it's not a bad start, because, well, yeah. no, one's, no one's hurt. Hmm. Ah. Damn it. Oh, well. The okay. Plague Doctor. Phil Queer, what you got? Battlefield Medicine. I can use a play grenade. Apparently not at the moment. Yes, because the targets it can they're hit. Too, they're too close. They're too close. That's right. I'm learning. Uh, emboldening Vapors, which can buff a target. Uh, disorienting Blast. All right. All right. Good. That's what I wanted. Okay, Sean Ald, what do you got? Let's. Well, he's already stunned, so let's go for smite. So you can do extra damage if they're unholy. So have a look at your zealous accusation. Does it do a bonus damage versus undead? No, no. no. I thought it did, but it doesn't. That's fine. Oh, okay, because they're unholy. Yeah. Ah! Nice. Cleansed from our okay. Uh, let's see, Mr. Christmas. Can you? Yep, you can get a pistol shot in. Sweet. Good job, Chris. And by doing well in combat. Your confidence is boosted. My confidence is actually is boosted. So. Yeah, great. So, you know, I'm learning. Now. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Ha-ha! Ooh, more shovels, cit more citrine, and lots more gold. In Beautiful. Gold greases palms, builds empires, and instigates murder. Very true. It is more than that, but let's keep... <laughs> uh, and so if you head to... You you don't need to go to the um, nice. right side of the screen. You can just open up the map, and it will scout. Ooh. And scouting can show you what's in front of you. Right. So you can tell what's so ahead. There's an upcoming battle. There's an obstacle, which you'll need your shovel to clear. Yep. The battle. And then you can even see past into those rooms. So curios Curio. are... Things like of interest. Things of interest. And then past them... There's a room with a curio, room a battle room, a of, yeah, and a battle room with a treasure. Great. Okay. So, click onwards. Yeah, let's uh, move to this. Well, as in, it, it's like it's not moved to this room. It's like Just indicate that, that you're traveling this way. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we've got an obstacle coming up. Uh, Kidoki. So walk up to it. 
yeah. and it will tell you. Even so don't do that because that's clear the obstacle by hand. So ah, it's, you'll take damage. So use, the, use the, shovel. the shovel. What if I use up the shovel by doing it? You do. Oh. It costs a shovel. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're really badly made shovels. It is a, a rickety town. You are... I got swindled. Oh, dim light. So you know that you can click in the middle of that brazier thing. Yeah. Brazier, brazier. rather. Uh, or you can right-click the torch up to you. Oh, I see. So yeah. I can right-click this. Yeah, and there, there you go. go. Okay. Yeah. Well, i got a battle coming up. But so. you, Exactly. And so you wouldn't want to go into the battle with low light. Yeah. Oh, what are you? Oh. Oh, that was... Oh, crap. Well, I can get both of you guys. And that that looks pretty great, actually. Uh, you can only get the person at the back. Oh, I see. The um, the one that you're on, uh, which is the disorienting blast, you could get one of them. This one? Yeah. I could get two of them. No, you can only get... You you have the option of picking one oh, I out see. of those two. But, oh, yeah, because yeah. tied together means I could get two of them. You would be able to not tied, I can choose. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So well, if there were four enemies in the thing, your play grenade at the start there... I would get both of them. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, let's go for a disorient. Let's attack the uh, cultist, Acolyte. Yeah, great. Uh, you're a bone rabble. Ah! Good. That's genuinely what I wanted. Okay, Christmas. Uh, you can do a... Mm. So, Open Vein has a chance to bleed. Yeah, I was just but saying But if that. you hover over the skeletons with your... Um, they... You see their resistance. So, that's not a skeleton. That's a human. That's a cultist Acolyte. Oh, those because the skeletons are skeletons. They do not they, bleed. They have a two hundred percent chance to resist bleed. Does that mean that there's a chance? Mm, it's, it, certain ways you can play this game can make it happen, uh -huh. but it's unlikely. Right, and so well, they're bleeding. Oh, and, and so they'll take up. damage as they bleed. Uh, right. Oof. Oh. And everyone will take uh, be a little panicked from that. Yep. And hand of light is a ranged attack. And I can choose. That's all I can do at the moment. That's I'm in right. The front of or the party. you can shift. Yeah. You can move. Um, but you can only move back one. Right. So, um, up to you. Now I'm going to try and attack. Okay. It's also a useful thing to. Um, it's probably best to attack at someone else because it does extra damage if you look at it. It'll do extra damage on Unholy. Plus 15 DMG. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, um, the other thing is that you can't heal out of combat. Okay. But you can you can heal during combat. Well, I actually probably... You know what? I should actually step back um, so I can heal the wounded guy. I'll do that next, actually. Okay. No, I'm good. I feel, I feel confident. I shouldn't have felt confident. But I got buffed. All right, my friend. Uh, let's have a look here. So that smite is good against the unholy. Are you unholy as well? No. No. Very human. But and they are stunned already. And he is already stunned. All right, well, let's go for a smite against you. Another one falls. Oh. That was nice. Haha. -ha. Sean Old is Nomad. No, you are Nomad for Sean Old, rather. Uh, okay, let's have a look here. I can... Ooh. I can get all of them. Um, yes, you can. With the Grape Shot Blast. Let's give it a shot. I want to try these things out. Yeah, do it. Oh. That was a good idea. That was a very good idea. That was a very good idea. Bring us home, Philoquia. With a... Mm, mm, yeah. Good. And then Hand of Light. And... There we go. Give them no quarter. Yeah. Done! Gone, so, um, sorry, ACC is accuracy, not uh, attack damage. Yes, correct, because uh, DMG yes. is uh, the yeah, damage, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Uh, I made a mistake on that. That's um, right. But you can uh, grab those. Now that you're out of combat, you can also shift your uh, party. Right. So well, you can move your cleric or healer. Um, right. yeah. There we go. Uh, and you can do it freely without having to worry about like where they go, really. Because, you know, no one's going to jump out. You're in a rest moment. 
Actually, let's try this. Um, uh, check their spells to see if they can cast them. I don't think your healer can cast some of their spells at the second position. Yeah, that's why I want to move. That's why I want to move her. I want to do this. Yeah. I oh, no, I want you all the way at the back. You here, and then I want you. There we go. That's what I want. That's what you want. Yeah. Because you're using predominantly the um. You'll you lose access to a few of your spells like that, but you're yeah. using predominantly oh, disorienting cast. Actually, it makes sense to. Do that's, that. That's not go. a bad one. Yep. There you go. Let's go with that. All right. And then we've got a door. Yeah. Remember that. Now it should. Oh. Um, Studio. Nothing in here. Oh. And you knew that was going to happen. But there are two options now. You can go for the curio room with the curio. Like so battle with a curio or battle with treasure. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go this way. All right. And remember, you only need to clear out 90 rooms. 80, 80%. 90%. 90%. All right, there's one curio and then a battle with the curio. Mm. Oh, signal of honor earned by family actions long since passed. Then right up into my voice there. Hmm. Holy water. These are all unevil people. Uh, nice. You can apply it to yourself uh, and it gives you buffs. You can experiment with those if you'd like, or I might try that now. You. Actually, uh, it's probably best to go before you uh, enter the door, yeah. so you get the most advantage out of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's head. What are you freaking out about? It's just spooky. <sighs> All right. Let's. So you got to right-click items to use them. Yeah. All right. All right. And if you hover over the, there you go. Three rounds: blight, bleed, disease, and debuff resisting. Great. Well, you're front of the party, so let's give us a shot. Come on, friends. Let's kill some undead. Okay, uh, your grape shot will hit all of them. Yeah, none of them are going to bleed. Uh, grape shot. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to use this properly yet. Nice. Good job, Chris. Was that me, Chris? or Both of you. Nice. Uh, I can hit two of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Oh. Cool. Ellen. Ellen. Judge everyone. Judge, man. Or you can heal the party. Up to you. Or you can heal a single target. But I'd, I'd go for the attack, honestly. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. They're all even killed. You're stunned. Well, he's stunned, so he's yeah. going to be around not doing anything yeah. regardless. So... <laughs> Nice. You shall suffer as I have. Oh. And Sorry, she gained Ellen. some um she gained, gained a buff. some good stuff. Yeah. Some healing and ow. Well, that's you actually. So the uh, little under the health there yep. is 19 madness. If you have a look. Stress. Stress. So if you get to 100 stress things get bad. Bit dicey. Yeah. All right. What else have I used? So what is the bulwark of faith again? So it gives you 24 torch. It marks you yeah. um, as it a target. So your enemies attack you. Right. They get bonuses on you. But by having protection, you get more armor. So it basically goes, hey, everyone attack me. I'm the target. But uh, your enemies get to deal less damage. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, you're a... You uh, I reckon you've, you've got this. You've got this, Chris. Oh, me? Yeah. Nice. No. No, you don't. It was cool, though. Good. Uh, so you know, because I'm, I'm going to take the time to heal. That's actually. right. You, you can uh, heal. Heal one to three, or heal someone directly four to five. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And then Sean Old can smitey, 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 smitey! Ooh, didn't die. Close, though. Come on! Nice. Go. Very good. Food? 
Lots more food. Yeah, uh, when do I have to eat? Uh, if you rest, which is in longer ones, or you can just use it to heal you okay. during downtime. Uh, click that thing. An ornate fountain of holy... Investigate the fountain. Nice. There you go. So there are all sorts of things. And that could, you know, give you a permanent change to your character. That could um, poison them. That could do all sorts. Now, you know how you scouted before? Yep. Sometimes that won't happen. You have a chance to scout. I think yours is at 25%. So every time you open your map after clearing a room, yeah. there's a 25% chance, percent chance that you'll scout. Me. This time you're walking in blind. Okay. Can I go back? You can. It's safe. It will expose you to a little bit of uh, stress, but uh, I would recommend going forward because you could probably skip that treasure room I and like, explore the other three. I like the, the thing that they do here, right? Because no matter which way I chose, I have to sacrifice one of these unless I want to... Uh, Double um, back. Yeah. Yeah, it is randomly generated. Right. But um, it is designed in a way that is purposeful random generation. Well... It's all right. We uh we've got this. We're fine. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay. all right. It's it's just flavor. I'm listening to them. Okay. Yeah, why well, I'm moving. Jesus, Ellen. Bill, Ellenville. Ah! Ellenville. Ambushed by So you can see them on the ground if you're looking careful. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Neither was I. But you need to be kind of like Vigilant. Yeah, vigilant. I know what you're looking for. What does that say? Like a trap. We're good. Sorry, Ellenville. So you can feed Ellen to give her healing, uh, to give her health if you oh, like. Ah, the food does do. Yep, it, it restores a bit of health. All right, well, let's give you. Yeah, let's nom nom. Uh, where's your nom nom? Uh, oh. Right click. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. But she can only eat so much before she's full, and there stuffing we go. food in her mouth won't. Like, like anyone. It, there's a point where it becomes kind of reductive. You can't just force food into someone's mouth. Why not? Uh, mm, oh. Well, that's illegal, Sean, I think. I think? Maybe? I don't know. Hello. So, well, first of all. Of course it contains loot. More Another crest, more jade, and... Oh, we just, we're making back that food that we've been using. So as you can see, you've already filled up your inventory. Yeah. Nearly, basically, right? Almost. So, the more stuff you bring into the dungeon, the less stuff you carry out. Damn it. Can I drop things? You can. Why? I'm just I'm just nervous. It's just stress. Just a little bit of stress. A little bit of stress is, stress is helping. Yeah. I'm like constantly looking hunger. So, hunger. This is what food is for. As right. you go through um, a dungeon, uh, you need to feed. If you eat nothing, you get stressed take extra damage, and suffer consequences. Okay. Right? Is um, this just for Seanald? No, that's for the party. Right, well, let's, just, let's see. Great. Let's chow down. Sorry, Ellenville, you've been eating a lot. That's all right. She doesn't mind in this instance. Wait. Let's collect ourselves. There's no traps. Did that go down again? It does. It goes down... the the If you're exploring places familiar, the torches won't go down as quickly. If you're exploring places new, the torches go down faster. Right. Because we spent... Ooh. So the art is beautiful, in my opinion. I think it's stunning. Uh, there is there's nothing in the background, though. Uh, if there is, it'll be in the dead center. Oh, I see. And be in an uh, engageable item. I'll just keep going, then. Yeah, do it. Yeah, push on. Right. Let, uh, let us adventure forth, watching for traps on the ground. Ooh, good thing I brought my trusty shovel. That's right. See, if you hadn't brought one, you'd have only found one. And I'd have to Don't clear it by exert yes. energy. And take damage, usually, and stress. Because yeah. it takes time, which means you're in the dungeon longer, which you don't want. Stop it, torch. So torches go down quite quickly. I like to have lots of them, so that I'm never fighting in dark. But certain characters fight better in the dark. Right. Certain monsters fight better in the dark. Of course they do. Certain monsters make Mo it dark. Ah! All right, right, so it's a four-on-four four fight, Sean. It's a fair fight. So I would recommend looking at your enemies, seeing what their weaknesses are, Let's what their see. strengths are. Uh, so they're all unholy. Of course they are. Um, this guy is a good mover. 
uh, and have a look if uh, if you've encountered them before. You, sh you get an idea of their skills. Yeah. He, Not all of a, them necessarily. He's at range. He can. Uh, this one can slash. That looks like the grandmother. Uh, the bone courtier. Uh, yeah. Grandmother likes to drink, but also I'm a little way away from the screen. What's that? The courtier. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. All right. And the defender. Well, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. All right. Let's go for it. Uh. Well, they don't. They don't need to bleed. They don't. Oh, let's just go for a. Let's just kill. Get them all. Okay. Ugh. Nice. And I feel like you can I'm use just, a play grenade on both. Yeah, of them. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go all out. So that'll get both of them. But if you look, yeah, the plague killed that one. Great. Because it. It only did one point of damage immediately. Yeah. But the plague would have done like three or four points of damage straight after. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good job, Ellenville. Ow. Uh, ow. Sean Old's turn. I haven't done zealous accusation. So yet. you can you can try and attack everyone kind of at the same time, or you can focus your attacks on one target. Yeah, it's really a kind of like battle strategy how you want to do it. Um, it's up to you. I'm gonna try. I haven't tried zealous yet. Okay, great. Great. It's good that I know what that's like. Ha ha. And if you see the ye yellow like dot next to each character, that means they they are yet to attack. Or yet to act. Oh, these these things? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Phil's character doesn't have one. And as you go down the kind of initiative, those will disappear. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So you can monitor which enemy has attacked and which one hasn't. All right. Let's... Uh, what's this red thing here? Uh, that's just... An, it means that the play grenade can, can hit that one, right? Because it's on the, on the edge there. If you All click right. that one, it'll show up on the other two. Want to take you out? Good. Okay, Christmas. Oh yes, sir. No, sir. How are we doing for health? We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Yeah, it's always good to be pumping out as much damage because that reduces the health you lose by killing your enemy. Yeah. Oh, I want to take this guy out. He's my. Yeah, the defender. Yeah. 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 There we go. Nice. Ask and you shall receive. That's no match for me. Well. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Better. Better. Better, sir. And you can stun. Now, it's probably not a good idea to stun the guy who you stunned last time. Yeah, which is... Because he has a resistance. That guy, is, if you hover yeah. over the blue, it'll show you. That's right. Yeah. Ah. It also clears uh, corpses. Yes. Which is super useful. Now you can focus your attacks on the guy who isn't stunned. Because the guy who is stunned He's won't be a problem for you. Yeah. No threat. That's right. Sean Old, however. Hmm. Yes. And now back to the top of the initiative. Yep, and let's... I mean... Well, you won't bleed, but you can still get hurt. Yeah, um, that's true. The pistol shot is probably better. There's a chance of critting. Uh, I can't get him, though. Uh, yes, you're right. The grape shot isn't great in this instance. It doesn't do a lot of damage. No, I'm just gonna... There, there you, you go. go. Cool. Congratulations. Nice. Take it all. So, now, same thing. There's a chest in this room. Yes. I want the chest. Great. I mean, hell, you can even double back to the other room if you'd like, if you're feeling that bold. It's got my family signal on it. Yeah, Sigil. man. Sigil. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What are they good for? Uh, they're good for upgrading um, your town, the hamlet. Hmm. Now, you can go to your map and just make your way back to the uh, that room if you'd like, or you can leave. Remembering that that's quite a bit of distance. Yeah. 
and whilst the the lit up places the places you've explored won't be uh terribly bad for your stress your characters have explored them they know there's nothing there they will get a tiny bit by just spending time in here and stress i mean if you look stress doesn't go away no uh you do need to like kind of do stuff to get rid of it i reckon i'm good you reckon you're good i reckon i'm good all right All right, congratulations, Sean. You made it through. Thank you. Have a look at what you've got. Oh, I actually got a lot. Uh, I think if you click next, it skips all like the counting. There hey. it goes. So don't. Uh, if you look at your quest rewards as well, I got three thousand. A lot of a lot of sigils and a debuff stone. Uh, fifteen percent debuff skill chance. Nice. But it lowers your speed by one. Not as nice, but still good. So if you have someone who likes adding debuffs to your enemy, then that wouldn't be a bad thing to chuck on them. Okay. Yeah. And some personality traits and levels up. Seanald is gothic. So have a hover over, see what it does. Uh, 25% healing. Nice. Great. For word reconstruction. Christmas, you are... Fengophobia. Oh, you do not like... Fire, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, so whenever I get stress, it'll be worse if it's well lit. Ellenville. 10% scouting chance in Warrens. And Philquia. Spiritual, which we knew. No, we didn't. No, Grace. we had that for, uh, I believe, uh, Sean Old as well. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Let's return. Yeah. And uh, well done, Sean. You've returned to the Hamlet. The tent. Dunker Shurn. Negative quartz. Wagons stand at the ready. So, um... The circus has come to town. Mm -hmm. Um... You can remove the quirks. Like, uh... Like how my character has a uh, fear of, like, torches and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um... You don't want to do the circus. Uh, that's a bonus feature that we're, we're not exploring in this game. Hmm. Um... So, uh, on the next episode, we're going to dive further into the darkest dungeon. Let's in do the it. darkless estate with Sean. Let's do it. And Chris. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.